If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Today we are going to discuss the concept of functions in cells. A function basically gives a unique output for every input. As its definition indicates that whatever you give the input, then the output will be unique. It's basically a special type of relation. So, in order to understand its concept, there are two conditions that are required for a function. Let's see what are those conditions. So, let's say A and B be the two non-empty sets. Then, F is a function from A to B and it can be written as F is a function from A to B. This is the uh, notation or the representation of a function. Then, we can say that F is a function if and only if. We have the we have uh, we actually need the two conditions. One domain of f is equals to a. This is the condition that is required for a function. Now, what is domain of f and it is equal to a? We will discuss it through example. Currently, you just have to uh, you just know what are the two conditions. We will apply it uh, shortly. Another condition is elements of a should be uniquely mapped with elements of b. Now, what does it mean? That means there is no two ordered pairs that are having the same first element. For example, you have 1, 2 and 1, 3. In such a case, you cannot say that the uh, you cannot say that we are having a function. Because in this case, the first element in both the ordered pairs is the same. So, this is not a function. So, these are the two conditions that are required for a function in sets. So let's apply an example and find out whether the given uh, uh, these conditions are uh, satisfied in the given function or not. Example is, let's say we have a function that is having the ordered pairs like A, E, B, F, C, G and D, H. So these are, this is a function. And the sets are A is equals to A, B, C and D and B is equals to E, F, G and H. These are the two sets. Now that we have to find whether F is whether F is a function from A to B or not. As function is a relationship between the two sets that is A and B. So it is having the elements of both A and B. So let's check it out whether it is a function or not. So we have to check the two conditions. So, for that purpose, we will draw it like this. This is the set A and this is the set B. So, the elements are A, B, C, D and it's E, F, G and H. How we can map them? As we have the function of A, E, so we have to join A with E. Then we have B, F here. It will be like B, F, then C, G and then dh. So, now we have to check whether it is a function or not. For that purpose, the condition 1 is domain of f is must should be equal to a. Now, domain is what? Domain is the first element of the ordered pairs. So, let's find the domain as domain of f is equals to a, b, c and d. This is a, b, C and D. This is the domain of the function and it is clear here that this domain is equals to A as all the elements are same. So, it means this condition is satisfied. So, now we check the second condition according to which every element of A should be mapped uniquely with the, uh, with the element of B. So, it is clear here that there is no element in the set A that is mapped to uh, that is mapped to, 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 to more than one element. They are exactly mapped to only one element and it is also clear that no two ordered pairs have the same first elements. So, I can say that no two ordered pairs have same first element. This is the second condition for a function. So, the, both the, of these conditions are, uh, have, are satisfied. So, we can say that A is a function. Um, so, f is a function from a to b as this is a and this is b. So, we can say that this is a function. Let's have one more example and just uh, check out whether the give, uh, given 
set of ordered pair is a function or not. Another example is if you are having the relation like this and the elements are A, B, C and D, P, Q, R and S and they are mapped like A to B, B to Q and C to R. So whether it's a function or not we have to check this is A and this is B. Now we first we will write the function as the ordered pairs that will be included in the function as it is clear from the given diagram as one ordered pair will be AB, the other will be BQ and the other will be CR. So this is the function and the sets are A is equals to A, B, C and D and B is equals to P, Q, R and S. Now let's quickly check out the condition. Condition number one domain of F should be equal to A. Let's find out whether the domain is equal to A or not as domain is the first element of the ordered pair. So domain is domain of F is A, B and C. Oops it's not equals to A. So we can say that domain of F is not equals to A. As one of the condition doesn't match then we can we will say that this is not a function from A to B. So we need not to check the second condition as first condition does not match. So we will say here that F is not a function from A to B. Function from A to B. So there should be no element that is left unmapped from A to B. And the first element of the pairs should not be repeated. These are the two conditions for a function. So keep these two conditions in your mind in order to find, the, in order to determine the function from set A to B in set theory. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.